Here are the numbers and the tail of the tape. Serhi Adamchuk is 26 years old. Elmer 28. Height and reach almost identical. The featherweight champion Adamchuk only had to lose a couple of pounds to fight for in at lightweight, so it wasn't a big deal for him. He walks around at usually about 157, cut back a few pounds to make weight. We are scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the glory lightweight division, and introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a two-time WBC champion and three-time Danish Thai box champion. His record truly impressive. 113 wins with 21 losses, 33 of those wins coming by knockout. At 5 feet 9 inches tall, 1.76 meters, he weighed in at 154 and 1 half pounds and even 70 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Denmark, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Mohammed Desert Star! Moved up to lightweight, his featherweight title is not on the line. This is not a title fight. What? Underway, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Mohammed Elmir in the white shorts, Adam Chook in the black shorts, and he comes out firing as usual. We saw him pull off a uh, cartwheel kick to start off his last fight, right, Joseph? Yeah, he's, he wants to be exciting. He wants to put a show on. And again, part of that is throwing spectacular attacks, spinning kicks, cartwheel kicks. He wants to excite and be entertaining. And you've got to wonder where the head of Elmir is. He was super excited to face fellow countryman Nicholas Larson to prove who is Denmark's number one lightweight. But that fight of course is off as Larson had to withdraw only a few days ago due to a serious reoccurrence of an infection in his leg we wish him the best but now Elmir has a lot to deal with not only a guy moving up a weight class but also now a dangerous southpaw that's <laughs> a big difference and a lot of changing from an orthodox to a southpaw fighter your strategy and game plan in the gym this fight because he sold a lot of tickets here he's got a lot of fans here ready to watch him fight so he's here to put a show for on for Denmark disappointed he was not facing Larson but said that he never considered not accepting this fight well Amir has 113 wins on his record and on that he's fought some of the best Muay Thai fighters in the world he has a bare knuckle fight against Yeltsinklai Adam Chuck, very active. He was successful in his featherweight title defense, getting a win over veteran Mossad Amrani only a month ago at Glory 28 Paris. Adam Chuck's doing a real good job with his boxing lately. He's showing good footwork, good distance. But what I like that he just threw was a nice rear low kick to the back leg of Elmir. Those hurt the most, and those are very damaging. Adam Chuck pushing Elmir up against the ropes, backs off. And lands a right hook. I'm surprised to see Elmir against the ropes. In most of his other fights, he keeps coming forward, so he must be really respecting the power Break. of Adam Chuck. And Elmir gets a warning for throwing Serhi Adam Chuk to the mat. 
No knockdown. If you grab a strike, you have to either take one step or one strike right away. You can't hold on. If you're grabbing, you got to follow up with something. And also, if you clinch, you have to immediately strike with a knee attack. Round one is in the books. Mohammed El Mir, the Desert Storm, has the hometown fans behind him. A very tough matchup for him. Said he knew nothing about Sergey Adamchuk coming into this fight because he's a featherweight. It's very tough for him. But like I said, he really didn't want to disappoint his fans here in Denmark. And he has to do what he has to do. This is this is glory here. This is the top kickboxing in the world. You got to take every opportunity you can. Big Mike giving his instructions. And Peter Schmizel, the Danish former professional soccer player in the house. Good to see Peter. Looks like he could get into the glory ring and go a couple rounds. Speaking to, to Big Mike, Adam Chuk's coach, he was saying Sir is constantly in the gym. He's always watching tapes, learning. He's just a guy who loves to fight, wants to keep learning, and he's always prepared. He actually made his glory debut at lightweight against Gregorian, right. or at Gregorian. Yeah, he said it was not a big deal to, number one, take this fight at lightweight, or to take it on short notice. The guy pretty much lives in the gym. He also is a guy who never watches any videotape, doesn't care what his opponent does. Adam Chuk just really concentrates on his own game plan. Adam Chuk's doing a really good job at mixing level with his boxing and landing some big kicks right and left. But that rear low kick from a southpaw to the back leg is vicious and hurts. He has destroyed opponents before with that low kick. But at this point, you know, Adam Chuk taking the fight to Elmir. Assess Elmir's performance so far. Well, Elmir needs to be a little bit more active. He's waiting a little too long. He needs to get in there, cover up his head, and start throwing some combinations. Right now, he's just being a standing target for Adam Chuk just to lay his combinations with his hands and his legs. Great. Total strikes thrown close as Adam Chuk landed 32% of his. Elmir, 25. <laughs> Amir needs to get aggressive, Ron. That's that's the best thing he has right now. He can't stand there against the ropes. Adam Chuck's just gonna pick him apart. Ready. Adam Chuck, four and zero oh in glory. He won the featherweight Ready. belt by beating Gabriel Varga at Glory 25. That went down the last October. Under a minute to go in round number two. Adam Chuck, you should see his boxing. He's really quick with his boxing. He's able to hit the head, hit the body, and move. So he's avoiding counter punches, keeping his space. His boxing has really evolved while he's been in glory. You hear Big Mike in the corner yelling, go for the legs, which I feel is the best strategy right now. Cover your head, attack the legs. 30 to go. Adam Chuk, very impressive with grabbing the kick and then immediately striking. See, he's, he's lightly touching the head because he wants to bring the attention to the head so he can land his low kicks. Combination from Adam Chuk going upstairs and then following it with the low kick. Spinning back kick from Adam Chuk. All right. Both Adam Chuk and Elmir getting instructions from their corners. Big Mike notorious for just dumping the water off his fighter's heads. Gets that sponge, he splashes it. 
One of my favorite things seeing him. He'll actually take a sip of water himself. It's exhausting being in that corner sometimes yelling at your fighter. Of course, Big Mike in his gym. He will be in the corner of number three ranked welterweight Yoan Congolo later tonight. Mike's gym, one of the best in all of kickboxing. As we prepare for our third and final round. Time. Well, the Danish fans are trying to support Mohamed El Mir in this third round against Serhi Adamchuk, the featherweight champion. Joseph, how do you have this scored so far? It's two rounds to zero for Adam Choke. Elmir needs to get on his wheels, cover his head, and come in and start throwing. And that's what he's doing. Three. Picking up the pace here early in the third. Adam Chuk uses this heel strike to the leg. It's very unique. He, I saw him use it a lot in his last fight. Elmir moves forward, he eats a right hook. You can see how Elmir comes forward in a straight line, right. where Adam Chuk hits and moves on different angles. So that's why it's very hard for Elmir to, to land something, because Adam Chuk's always changing angles. Right now, Adam Chuk pitching a shutout against Elmir. He hasn't landed one punch yet. His leg's hurting him. Adam Chuk needs to keep right. going to that leg. But good on Almir for continuing to come forward. He's putting on a show. Well, no points for tackles in glory kickboxing. That's pretty much what Mohamed Elmir did. Halfway through round number three. The featherweight champion, Serhi Adamchuk, takes Elmir down. It's just a slip. You can see the footwork. You can see. You know, he's been working his boxing. Three, and when you see back, a lot of back. boxers, and one of the best things about working boxing is kick in kickboxing is it really teaches you to use angles, distance, and movement. Adam Chuk has only 14 knockouts out of his 32 wins. He said he wants to finish more fights. Let's see if he can do that here in this third round. Again, a big low kick from Adam Chuk. And now he goes up top. I love how Adam Chuck circling and pivoting out. That's a good strategy against a fighter who keeps walking forward. He'll throw his punches and then he pivots out to the right or the left. Sir, hey, Adam Chuk up a bit. But really was not able to land anything or do any damage against the featherweight champion, Adam Chuk. That's it for this lightweight matchup. The decision to come up next. never easy to take a fight on short notice as Serhi Adamchuk did only two days ago. Have you ever been in that situation, Joseph? Well, I was always lucky in my career where I've never had to take a fight on quick notice or fight someone on quick notice. I, I was a fighter who always liked to really prepare for my fights, but I was also the fighter who fought my own fight. I never really 
changed my game plan according to who I was fighting, who the person, my opponent, always had to change for me. Ron Kruk and Joseph Altolini back here in Copenhagen. Who needs a full training camp? Not the featherweight champion, Serhi Adamchuk, as he dominated this fight against Mohamed Elmir. The big difference there was the boxing and the distance of Adamchuk. He was able to land his hands when he wanted to, landed big kicks when he wanted to. Just a great performance. He just continually continues to impress everyone. Mixing up good kicks, good boxing. It was his night. And again, I'm excited to see him actually defend the featherweight title. Mohamed Elmir, again, you wonder where his head was coming into this fight. He was expected to face his fellow countryman, Nicholas Larson, with really D Denmark's bragging rights on the line. And he never had that opportunity in speaking with him yesterday. He was extremely disappointed that that fight was canceled. Well, this one is in the books. Let's make it official. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges scorecard. All three judges score about the same. 30-27, a unanimous decision for your winner, Sergei Adamchuk. Adam Chuck.